The Saga of Flight, Part 2. One day, while in the trap, I looked away beyond the bondage and saw a group of birds who looked like my comrades. Their heads and wings were outside the net of the trap. It looked like they were about to take a flight. As I paid more attention, I noticed some remnants of the bonds of snare were still wrapped about their feet. They seemed, however, to be happy because they could fly together in spite of the bonds. When I saw this, I remembered how freely I could fly before and how I had forgotten about myself. I was disgusted by what I had become accustomed to and wanted to die of shame. I thought I had to somehow join the group, else I would have to remain in this dungeon for the rest of my life. I cried out and begged them to come and help me find relief from my condition. When they heard my plea, they remembered the hunter's trick and became suspicious of me. This was a frightening thought and kept them away from me. I swore to our old camaraderie and the friendship that had never been stained by impurity. But despite my groan and oath, they did not let go of their suspicion and showed no interest in coming to rescue me. Once again, I reminded them of our alliance in the past and my present inability to do anything. They approached me. I asked them how they managed to escape from the trap and how they were able to put up with those bonds that tied their feet together. They helped to take my neck and wings out of the snare in the same manner that they had done before and unlocked the cage so I could get out and join them. When I was able to be out of the cage, they told me to take the most of my freedom. I asked them to remove the bondage from my feet. They said if they were able to do such a thing, they would have freed their own feet. No one seeks medication from an unhealthy physician. And if they do, it's doubtful if the medicine would have any effect. Thus, I flew away with them. They told me we have to travel a long way to where we could have the bondage removed from our feet. We had to go through difficult and fearsome stages where no one could be safe for sure. In fact, we may lose our present state and be trapped once again in our former condition. This meant that we had to bear up with much agony as we went through the difficulties of the path. We had to be set to cross horrible pitfalls before we could reach our direct course. Thus, we began our journey towards freedom.